Hi everyone. Uh, I'm working on this drawing of Michael Bisping, the retired MMA fighter, and I'm using graphite pencils. Now, there is a large dark area here in the middle, and I mostly used an 8B and a 6B for it. And as I mentioned in some of my previous videos, one of the main problems with graphite pencils is that they tend to create a lot of shine, they tend to be reflective, especially when you're using these uh, darker, softer graphite pencils. Now, one of the ways to reduce or eliminate the graphite shine is to use a fixative. I use a fixative spray on all my drawings anyway to protect them and prevent them from smudging. And the fixative that I'm using is this Kohinoor fixative spray. Now, what I did here, because I wanted to show you the difference uh, between uh, the parts of the drawings which haven't been covered with a fixative and those that have, I covered the right side of the drawing with a piece of paper and uh, I sprayed the left side. Now, uh, in order to maximize the effect of the fixative, I sprayed it quite, quite uh, thoroughly and in several layers. I used three coats of fixative on this side and I think you'll see that the difference is uh, quite noticeable. I'm going to tilt the drawing now and as you can see this side of the drawing is quite a bit more reflective here on his hair and here on his t-shirt so this side looks uh, a lot darker and a lot less reflective if I tilt it this way there is a le uh, there is less uh, graphite shine but you can still see that this uh, side is a lot darker so one of the benefits of uh, using a fixative is that it actually adds a little bit of value and you have to take that into account. It does make the white parts of the paper a little bit darker as well, but it's not really noticeable. So that's not a big problem. So I'm going to continue working on this drawing. And I think, I think you can see that if you want to reduce the graphite shine, uh, the, sp the fixative spray definitely helps.